Hi, my name is Camilla Dalian, and I lead SAP's ISV Partnership Program in North America. And I'm joined today by Vladimir from Petrosoft. Thank you for being here today, Vladimir. Could you tell me a little bit about Petrosoft and what your role is at Petrosoft? I am a VP of Business Development at Petrosoft as well as a former CTO. My role in the uh, convenience store industry is over 14 years I was heavily involved in implementing and adaptation of our system throughout the downstream petroleum. My past few years are spent actively working with the working group of uh, Connexus, Ford Core Device Controller Group, as well as a technical advice committee. This is a technical working groups for Petrosoft and downstream petroleum. Petrosoft in the last years, uh, as well as a business for downstream petroleum evolved, and we see a lot of traction and, and adaptation opportunities for our IoT framework that collects and captures information down right from the site level and delivers it to the head office for data enrichments, data analysis, and site insights. So digital transformation is happening everywhere and in every industry, and I'm sure yours is uh, also following those trends. How has the petroleum, the downstream petroleum industry, resembled retail? Is it similar, is it different, or hmm. what are you seeing? Talking about the trends, I see at this point it's it's not about willing to follow, it's about survival. Mm -hmm. uh, we see uh, single store operators are being challenged and forced to find uh, uh, ways to consolidate information from very diversified site level architecture by having different multiple types of registers, multiple types of processors, all at the site level and consolidation and being able to make a proper decision is the benefit and the way you're gonna stay in business for good. Mm -hmm. uh, we also see the enterprise is uh, going after a completely different trend. Data aggregation and uh, data enrichment for them is the key. And the challenge that they're faced and they're forced to resolve is to being able to address not only head office functions, but also to be able to empower their operators down to the brick and mortar locations to give the unified uh, solution and empower them to make better profits, to understand their customer need, and to be able to deliver the solution and the product that they're after. And IoT, is that disrupting your industry? When I think about IoT, I think about standardization, unification. To me, this is right because what standardization does in any industry is it provides trackable, transparent results that are the way to really have an open, competitive marketplace within the industry where our solution providers can meet the customers in, in being able to go, go to market with a proper strategy and on-demand provide the uh, ideas and solutions that the customers are looking for. Mm. Absolutely game changer. Yeah, great. And uh, how has SAP technology helped you address your customer needs? We understand that uh, landscape and a lot of new business models are getting in the market and they're getting uh, evolved. It's not about very simple dependency of the franchisee to franchisor. More and more complex business models are created and um, go-to-market strategy are changing on demand. SAP Business One team allowed us to really focus on what we do the best, is to be data specific, data centric, and uh, allowed us to properly have a right route to go-to-market strategy for enterprise customers and uh, provided the comfort level for our customers when they see as our partner as an SAP, a global leader and scalable platform that we're using. Well, thank you for joining me today, Vladimir. I appreciate your time and your insight as to what's going on in your industry. Thank you for being a partner and I uh, look forward to continuing our journey. Thank you very much. Thank you, Camille.